Okay, guys, let's talk about um, some of our first feedback from our first attempt at uh, doing a more formal scaffolding to our writing. Um, so again, this is our business. This is our Manta Ray business survey where we've looked at everything. Now, first, I want to note that um, while we have the summary tab here, the summary data, you are welcome to look at all the data. So some some folks sort of made some references to, um, yeah, if only we had more data. Um, you know, you you can flip to the other tabs if you want to do a, a deeper dive. And then again, we've been using uh, the uh, first. Uh, guide to, to research writing um, to hopefully help us uh, make a stronger argument. The idea here is always going to be get it better, get it better, get it better, tighter, 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 revise, revise, revise. And so as you're starting to look at the feedback here or as you're starting to sort of uh, look at what you produced, um, the first question that I want you to do whenever we're doing any of these writing assignments is to look back and say, hey, did I hit my writing assignment targets? So, so the hit the specific things that the specific assignment was wanting me to do. Next is going to be just technical. Hey, so did I have it formatted the right way? Did I have all the wrappings or any of the the additional things that I needed for this particular assignment? Is that stuff there? Is the are the references formatted correctly, et cetera? And then once we've gone through those sort of technical things, official things, then we can start to get to the actual real nut, the most important part of all these assignments, which is you building uh, robust arguments. So the first thing I want to know is, is, it, is your core argument really clear? Is it really obvious what your main point here you're trying to um, uh, convince the reader of? Uh, you know, is it very obvious? And then next is, um, how did you build that argument? Is it an effective um, way of pulling together data? Is it effective synthesis of the knowledge, etc.? Okay, and with that, let's look at our, our first few examples from you guys. Okay, so let's start out. So uh, Jordy's what we have here. So here's the here's our in class um, here's our in class uh, uh, stab, which was just you know look at the data, you know uh, free write, pull stuff together. So so Jordy here is basically talking about um, uh, the business, and he gives a, he's sort of doing a, a sort of t uh, <clears throat> trajectory of the businesses over the last few years. Uh, has some numbers in here, some quantification, all that good stuff. Okay, now we turn to our attempt to, to pull this together with some of our tools. And uh, the first thing I'd say is some of the um, uh, technical things here need to be cleaned up a bit. So for example, here is this here is this reference. That's not the way to reference stuff, right? We want to always use the author year. So we're, we're using our standard um, uh, uh, professional technical writing. So this part down here is correct. Murphy et al. 2018 or O'Malley et al. 2013. That's good. But this guy uh, doesn't pass uh, muster. If we go down and look at the references, so Jordy has one, two, three, four, five references here. That's cool. That's good. Um, now again, we want the majority of our references to be peer-reviewed technical stuff. So that's great. And it looks like we have PL. PL OS1, which is an open source journal, we have, you know, again, there we have something from the annual review, environmental resources, etc. This guy um, does not appear to be a peer reviewed journal. Now, it's not, you can use that. I'm not saying you can't use these, but again, when we want our core references, we want those, those um, five or 10 or whatever the, the charges for that assignment to be a peer reviewed or at least um, a technical reports. Um, this one, not sure what it is. So this would be fine to reference, but we'd want to have this maybe in addition to our core references. Um, and then when we look through these, we want to also make sure that we're formatting these um, according to our standard, our default, right, which is um, ecological applications or any of the journal, uh, Ecological Society of America um, journals. And so, um, for example, this guy doesn't have a year, right? And so, so Jordy is here saying this is a no date. This is this is a, a publication that doesn't have a conspicuous year. Sometimes that happens, but always the year is the second thing. It's always authors, date, etc. Now, if we're using our um, uh, Zotero or other bibliographic management software, that should be really, really easy to fix and take about ten seconds. Um, and you can change the formatting at will. Okay. Um, the other, uh, the other one, and so this, and so this just charges to do about a page write up. So that's great. So we got about the, the right number. Good single space. Okay, cool. So, th so that's sort of hitting that. That's awesome. Remember the other thing we're doing this semester when we're engaging with these tools is at the end of whatever sample we turn in, if it's a page, a two page, three page, whatever. 
We're going to put just a, a, a couple sentences here about what AI tools we might have used or what online tools we used to help us craft this uh, writing. You know, what you used and, and if they were helpful or, or how you tweak them or whatever. So make sure to include that statement at the end of your stuff. Um, okay, so once we've gone through that, then we can come back and we can look at um, the, uh, uh, the more detailed um, uh, details of the arguments. So in this case, let's take a look at this. So tourism has been an impact, it has been an aspect of society for hundreds of years. In the past few decades, it's expanded. Da, 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 da. So this is good. So this is clearly uh, looks to be like a, a big take on um, uh, sort of uh, ecotourism broadly writ, right? So nothing in here looks grossly in error, but it's it's we only have a page and we're we're already spending about you know something like you know something like that so something like on the order of I don't know a third or so something like that um, 25 30 percent is on this intro so I love intros I love context you guys know me I love to go in the details and stuff but given that we only have a page that maybe is a lot um, of space to sacrifice on introduction when we have such a limited um, area so so. Love long introductions when we have the space to, but when we have a constrained space, let's make that a little bit tighter. We then turn to, looks like we then turn to a Kona and we did then turn to, to the area of Hawaii um, where we're talking about. Um, uh, but again, it, it's, 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 it's more introductory stuff, so, so very um, high level. Again, not bad in and of itself, but given the limited space, hmm, that might be a bit uh, tough. Then we get to manta rays uh, then we get we get to Manta ecotourism about you know about halfway into the paper, so we'd want to get to that much faster. So maybe we can take all of this and boil this down into a, a sentence or two, something on that order of magnitude, so that we can then then be rolling into the what looks to be beginning to be the meat of our paper here. Okay, cool. So we're going through this, and then uh, we're talking about the general revenue collected. Okay, good. Remember that this is um, this is a, a general stuff, right? Um, and, uh, and, and, uh, you know, what's going on with the pandemic, we have our own data. So, so, you know, you can use some of these tools to help you sort of frame the arguments. But once we start to get into our arguments, don't let it run the show, right? You guys have your own views, your own opinions, your own data, uh, in many cases that we're collecting. So make sure we're rolling into that, um, uh, you know, pretty quickly, um, and now, and now we're here talking more about um, the specifics of the Big Island, uh, the, the, the recent history of COVID, which is great. Good. I like that. Um, good. Um, and then, uh, oh, I'm sorry. So it looks, like, it looks like Jordy actually put it in here, which is great. He put his comments, but let's put those at the end of the whole paper. Sorry, I apologize. I missed that. Um, so let's make sure we, we set that off just so it's easier for me to, to catch at the bottom. So, so use, use a consensus, various things to help simplify stuff, and then use stuff to get ideas. Great. That's exactly what I'm, I'm looking for. So awesome. So that's great. So thanks, Jordy. So, so that's great. Let's, say, let's look at one more before we um, uh, wrap this example up. Okay, so here we're looking at Angelina's, and this was, again, our, our in-class, just sort of brainstorming, rough, you know, sketching. So again, good. So talking about some of the patterns here looks great. Um, and then we can look at um, what, uh, what we uh, turn this into. Okay, great. So here we are. So here's our thing. So again, first we're going to do our check. We're going to say, hey, is this, um, how are we doing in terms of um, our overall uh, structure of the paper. Yeah, it's about a page, so that's great. That's cool. Um, we have our little comment about AI use. Okay, great. We have some references here. Okay, cool. Looks like um, maybe maybe some of the formatting is, or maybe the references are, um, so some of them look okay, uh, but uh, uh, like this guy, I'm not sure why there aren't page numbers and stuff there. But in any event, um, it looks grossly, it looks like we, okay, we got our references. Great. We got five references that look like they're peer reviewed. Okay, cool. So, so roughly we have our, our, our uh, structure looks great. Okay. So now let's talk about what, what is our core thesis? So our core thesis, so it's so actually uh, Angelina here has used a really uh, useful structure and I encourage you guys to all think about this. <clears throat> it's totally cool to break down the sections or to have subsections in our work, even if it's just a paper, a, a page long or two pages long, they can still help really organize your thoughts and help um, maybe better organize some of your writing or making it make it easier for you and the reader to sort of uh, jump through stuff. And so, um, 
So, okay, Lisa, we start up here and uh, we talk about, again, so this O'Malley paper seems to be coming out a lot. A lot of you guys are citing that. Um, and so, okay, so the big picture of manta ray diving. Good. Okay, cool. So that's our introduction. Um, and then um, looks like we're getting into our core thesis, which is saying, hey, so um, are there any downsides? So, so is, you know, what, what might be the um, costs of this type of activity? And so then we, and then with that intro, then we turn into her main uh, argument, which is, uh, or main exploration, excuse me, which is, hey, what is the evidence for uh, potential harm? And so here we go. So we're talking about snorkeling might do this, some boats might do that. Um, okay, cool, good in text. I like this. Okay, good. So these, this, this may or may not do this. Um, uh, importantly, this looks like a key thing here, right? No changes have been observed in manta rays due to ecotourism. So that seems to be pretty um, uh, key. Um, although this, this, maybe we need a reference to support this statement. Um, um, uh, to, to, to sort of make that stronger. Uh, and then we go in here. So, if, and then we talk about uh, solutions, I guess solutions if they're, so it sounds like we're saying, are there negative things? We looked through here, we didn't see any negative things. And then the solutions are if there are negative things. So maybe it's, it'd be stronger to say, uh, we don't see any negative things. And maybe, um, again, here might be an opportunity to pivot back and talk a little bit about the benefits. So we know, so it talks about the disadvantages and uh, costs and benefits, et cetera. You have some of that data, right? We have some of that data uh, that we all have collected. So go ahead and feed that back in. Um, but overall, uh, I think a, a, good, uh, a good start, a good start to um, this paper. Let's, let's, look, let's look at one more before we wrap here. Okay, so let's look at Alex. So Alex here is, is again, uh, this is our, our in-class uh, you know, rough draft thing. So it looks good. So talking about some of the trends. Okay, cool. Um, talking about uh, some of the particular uh, uh, aspects of or where it is on the um, on the paper or on our, on our data set. Okay, good. Great. Talking about some of the patterns. Okay, great. So uh, an excellent start. Now let's see what uh, Alex was able to pu uh, pull together um, with more of a, a bit more time. Okay, so here's Alex's take. So again, looks like, okay, yes, yeah, so we hit about about uh, one page, so that's good. A little bit more, but that's fine, right? So we have a, a guidance of one page, two page, three page. That's cool. Um, you know, that's my rule of thumb. If you're a little team bit over, a little team bit under, not a problem, um, as long as we're making strong arguments. So, um, so okay, so... Yes, yeah, so we hit that. Good. We have our in-text citations. Okay, good, good, good. We have our references uh, here at the end. So, okay, good. More of that, uh, a lot of PLOS you guys are finding, um, some frontiers in science. Okay, again, we want to make sure we're, we have things uh, formatted correctly in our database. So some of this looks like it might be a little bit squirrely, so we should go back and double check that. Um, and then, uh, good, here's our, here's our, you know, how did I use uh, some of these tools? And so he used uh, 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 ChatGPT to help clean up some of his grammar. So good, help tighten up some of his paragraphs. Excellent. Um, um, uh, didn't use some of the other tools. So that's cool. That's good. That's all good. All right, great. So, so in other words, it looks like we've met all of our um, a broad uh, instructional sort of um, logistical sides of things. Now let's look, let's start to look at our content. Okay, so here we go. So so uh, uh, talking about a positive look on this stuff. And so we start off and um, we talk about tourism as being a major uh, contributor to things, but that maybe the pandemic has been uh, a bit of a challenge, right? So you might want to cite, it looks like this, we could use a good citation right here that would just sort of uh, provide supporting evidence for that. Even though I know we all went through this and we all experienced this, but nevertheless, since we're talking specifically about how what tourism is doing, it'd be great to have uh, external support for that. Um, and then we go through sort of setting stuff up and then very quickly, we get to our th core thesis. And I like that Alex here has bolded it. So it's very clear to, to you know, set aside and we can see stuff. He's also using some of these headings to help us with the structure. So that's great, like that. Um, and so his core thesis is, um, has the, the growth in, in, or is the current level of manta ray tourism, is that good or bad? Right, so similar to um, uh, Angelina's. And um, as we look at this, so we have, so first we were talking about an economics stab, so that's great. Um, so I like that. Um, and it looks like uh, we're talking about, again, we lo everybody loves that O'Malley reference, which is fine. Um, uh, and so uh, just so you guys know, when you talk about this, so O'Malley's study 
it all, all, I know you just referenced it here, but it's also fine to say O'Malley parentheses 2013, close parentheses. That's a bit of a special formatting. I can show you guys how to do that um, so that it doesn't list the whole, uh, you know, last name and the year inside the parenthetical um, citation, but, but that, that's an option there. Um, and you guys get more sophisticated with this as we go forward. Um, and it uh, looks good. And so, so things like this, so growing numbers of companies, let's put numbers on that, right? So again, we have the data, uh, you've, all, you've all collected data, at least for our um, big island of Hawaii um, uh, tourism. So let's go ahead and, and, and uh, add that in there. Um, and then we, we pivot to talking about, um, uh, uh, so that, that some of this stuff has gone up, it's gone down. Um, and, uh, and, and asking some questions. Hey, what about this? So are the, you know, the, these seem to be valid concerns, et cetera. And then going into some other uh, references uh, and then spinning that up into a uh, global uh, um, a context, that's great. Uh, and then wrapping up with a conclusion. Okay, so in general, I would say, um, so looks like a great start. Um, one thing to, to start to watch for, you guys should watch for, and I know this is hard, especially when I'm saying, just do a one-page summary and just do a brief thing. Um, but nevertheless, becoming stronger arguers, uh, making better arguments, let's watch out for the overuse of a particular reference or, or one or two or three references. Um, now, I know I said, hey, you just only have to use five references, but when we're making an argument, um, if we're saying blah, 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 A, blah, 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 B, blah, 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 C, blah, 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 D. I'm like, oh my gosh, look at all of the, this person really understands the, the, the context here because they're pulling in all this information. Versus if we said, blah, 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 reference A, blah, 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 reference A, blah, 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 reference A, blah, 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 reference A. It, it's not as strong. So, so this isn't, you know, technically wrong um, here to sort of cite O'Malley a lot, um, but it would be even stronger if we, you know, cited O'Malley a couple times and then cited other things. So, um, so great. So overall, it looks like you guys are making a great start on this. I really, really like it. I will um, work to give everybody some more individualized feedback um, in, in the next day or so. So keep, keep going. Um, keep taking a look at this and let me know how these um, tools are helping you guys and looking forward to seeing everybody in class this week.